So when was the last time you actually powered off your iPhone completely? And did you know studies have shown that powering off your iPhone for at least five minutes once a week can actually improve the performance, fix issues like battery drain, and also improve the security of your device? So in today's video, I'm going to show you three different methods on how to power off your iPhone in order to improve the performance, fix any battery drain or lag issues, and even improve the privacy of your device. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first method is your regular and standard power off method. And you wanna do this at least once a week for about five minutes. And this has shown that this could prevent any cyber attacks or any security issues. So if your iPhone is under a cyber attack and you don't even know it, just simply powering your iPhone as you normally would by pressing on the side and volume buttons together and sliding to power off your device once a week five minutes could prevent any cyber attacks on your device as you see here we have the menu to slide to power off medical ID and emergency SOS just simply slide to power off and power off your iPhone and again this will improve the security of your device believe it or not just by simply doing this the second method is a hard restart now this method is typically used if you feel like your iPhone is overheating battery drain or if you're experiencing any lag or performance issues on your iPhone now this one is a little bit different you have to press on the side button here for the volume up volume down and then press on the side button and you see that the menu is a little different we don't have the medical id or emergency calls we only have the slide to power off you can slide to power off after doing this and again this is a hard restart if you're encountering any excessive battery drain any performance issues on your iphone let me show you that again so press up press down on the volume press and hold slide to power off and now your iphone can do a hard restart once you restart your device and hopefully this will fix any performance battery issues or even overheating issues as it cuts off any background activity that may be happening in the background now this third method is a hard reboot now i only recommend you use this method if your iphone is completely unresponsive you can't swipe on the screen you can't press on the buttons nothing is working it's just completely frozen this is how you unfreeze your device and perform a hard restart so you want to press on the volume up, press on the volume down, and then press and hold on the side button. And do not release that side button until you see the Apple logo. So this one obviously is going to be a little different from a harder reset. So you see here, we're going to go ahead and press. Keep pressing here. Once we see the Apple logo, we can now release. You'll get some feedback from that Taptic engine as well. And once your iPhone has completely rebooted, this hopefully will get rid of anything that may be affecting your device, the reason why your device may be frozen or any issues with the background activity and things like that. So this one is a hard reset or a hard reboot, if you will. And this allows you to get rid of that completely frozen state on your device. And hopefully this will help you in any given situation, rather it's performance issues, improving the privacy, or your iPhone is just completely frozen. Let me know if you know any of these methods before watching this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.